This video is about solar PV power boosting. Solar energy harnessing has continued to improve since the first practical silicon solar cell was constructed in 1954. In 2013, the technology for manufacturing of polycrystalline panel went through a fundamental change, enabling the cost per watt to go down considerably. More is yet to come, especially with the discovery of new materials with better electrical properties. Meanwhile, another branch of improving the output from solar modules is through electronics by way of stepping up voltage and current using a DC to DC boost converter. The boost converters are electronic devices that are used to enhance the output of your PV panel to meet the requirements of an electrical load, for example a water pump. So with a voltage converter, it is possible to convert a lower voltage to a higher level, for example from 12 volt to 24 volts or to 36 or even to 48 volts a converter's capability to accept wide input voltage enables it to provide stability in the output power of a solar panel in case of intermittent cloud shading this feature is especially suitable for a water pump steady operation here we look at types of residential solar power boosters we have the step up dc dc boost converter you can also get other types of this dc dc boost converter which are step down for example from a voltage of 24 volts to 12 or even to 5 volts so they play both ways there are those which are up converters and there are those which are down converters then we have boost converters which you can use for boosting power for ac pumps now there's a little difference between how you boost for dc pumps and how you boost for ac pumps so we begin by looking at boosting for dc and here we look at two converters the first type this one is the one which will do maybe from 12 to 24 volts 36 or 48 volts so depending on how it is uh, constructed then you can be able to achieve these levels so you can see here I'm showing the input of this type 1 can be between 10 to 23 then output will get 24 volts so meaning if you have a your small panel of 12 volts you can put it in the input of this one then get out 24 volts then current in the order of 15 amps and power up to 360 watts and then there is conversion efficiency this other type is sort of like a variable power supply and uh, what happens is that if you put in your power in then you can be able to adjust with this knob and get your power so if you put in 65 uh, from 10 to 65 you vary it then you can vary the output between 12 to 120 volts then the current will change depending on the selection up to 12 amps but we have the power output there which is 800 watts so you see this one will give us a higher output compared to the first one and the advantage is that it is variable then also see that this one will allow your other devices to have MPPT function so like if we connect it to an inverter then the inverter can be able to get the maximum power point of the input power so the benefits of using the up converter is that the price per watt of booster is lower than an additional panel the inverters that we have just looked at maybe the adjustable one is about say $35 the other one could be about 25 something like that so you see if we compare the power that you're getting out of the booster it is much lower than the price of uh, an equivalent solar panel of the same output uh, the other good point about the converter is that now instead of putting so many panels onto your rooftop then 
you only end up like in this case we are using only that boost converter to give us the equivalent of maybe three or four panels so if i go back to that slide we see that this one will sit at the back of the panel this one of course will be inside the house or in a, an enclosure that if you decide for it to be outside then it has to be a waterproof enclosure or if it is inside the house then it has to be in a place where it is fairly protected but this type of course as i've said you will put it outside together with the panel at the back of the panel so the other point which is uh, important here is the it minimizes conversion losses improves power quality and efficiency and as we've seen some have mppt function which is is a very good feature for it to have in this diagram we see how we can connect the boost converter in a pv system so normally you will have your converter behind the solar panel then hook it up and connect it to a controller through a control panel there of course then uh, the controller would then run be would then be connected to a submersible pump a dc submersible pump then pump the water to an override tank in this setup, I want us to see what kind of uh, pumps that we can select for use in this uh, format. On this page, we are on a website of a pump dealer. And uh, what we are seeing here are different pumps of different sizes. So like you can see here, this is a pump that can be run by 24 volts, 180 watts. So our system, which had uh, 24 volts 360 watt can work with this one and you can see up to 60 meters head uh, we have this one too so we can operate from our system we can operate this particular mode here and this one here I think those are the two categories that we can operate because the others are of a higher power than our system so, but being an example, then you can now choose the right boost converter to be able to give you the right power to meet your needs. So if we visit another manufacturer of uh, solar pumps, we see here uh, one of their pumps, which comes complete with the, its controller and this pump particularly is it's hybrid it can run both on ac and dc and we see that uh, if we give it 72 volts at 600 watts then we can be able to achieve uh, 3.5 meters cube per hour up to depth up to yes it can give you a head of up to 60 meters now you need to see the performance curve to know exactly which is the best point but those are the parameters so this particular one would be a suitable one for use with one of our boosters because we have one for 800 watts and then we can vary the voltage the way we want then be able to achieve that kind of uh, output so now let us look at voltage boosting for ac pumps and uh, what we know is that at the present ac induction motor water pumps are in abundant supply and therefore relatively cheaper compared with their brushless dc counterparts of the same power so the pumps that we've just seen were brushless dc pumps making an ac pump to run on solar is however relatively expensive until recently owing to the large input voltage required by an ac drive also known as variable frequency drive VFD a voltage booster comes in handy to solve this problem also some VFD may already have DC boosting functions in their circuitry so here we look at uh, examples of uh, voltage boosters for AC pumps what you notice with these uh, types of uh, converters is that when given say a small voltage input like this then the output is fairly large say up to 350 uh, for example this other one 
you give it between 20 so if so for example if you are to give it 24 volts then we would expect an output of up to 3 or 4 volts now the power there is uh, is the main defining factor because the power output will dictate what kind of pump we can run with it so we move on to look at uh, the layout how we can use these boosters and i take the first case if we put it uh, in this system we can connect it to a panel of giving a voc of say 37 and the output will be fed to a vfd and remember we had seen that uh, this thing is giving us up to 350 this other one is giving us up to 300 so the power we would feed it to a vfd taking f between 80 to 400 volts then that vfd would be able now to run an ac submersible pump then be able to now to pump water to our overhead tank so in this page we are looking at the website of one of the vfd manufacturers and uh, we have particularly selected this one pv580 and uh, if we look at this uh, pv580 it is a solar pump uh, inverter and uh, the specification are as follows it is rated for 0 0.6 kilowatt and with a maximum current input of 15 but then this thing can run a motor of 0 0.4 kilowatt so the pump motor should be up to 0 0.4 kilowatt then we see the input that the maximum input you can give it is 450 volts and the voltage recommended is between 360 to 430 so but it can work from 100 to 400 so our boosters that we have there of 350 volts and 300 can comfortably work with this uh, inverter so you see that starting range is as low as 80 volts so this particular inverter will help us in running a submersible pump with a motor below 0 0.4 kilowatt so we want to look at which submersible pump is this that we can run with this uh, inverter so on this page we are on the page of uh, a manufacturer producing pumps uh, in South Africa and uh, some of the pumps they have are of this type and I think this is the smallest pump so if we click on this then we'll be able to see its uh, data sheet so this is the performance curve of the pump that I opened and we can see its performance curves so the flow rate is here and it comes and it peaks around here at 35 liters per minute All right and uh, we go down and this particular model that we're looking at you can see the power it is a 0 0.37 or 0 0.5 hp and this is a performance delivery performance so we see that uh, somewhere here you can see that you can achieve 2.4 at 44 meter head so our system already we can see that we can do very good work with it or we can deliver 1.2 cubic meters at 59 meter head so depending on your requirements this particular pump connected to our systems that uh, we have designed then we can be able to comfortably operate it because of its power requirement being matching with our system that we have set up for boosting so let us look at another manufacturer grand force and uh, with the grand force what we see here is that their range of 0 0.37 they have these three three pumps here and say for example if i open this spa sp1a14 
the page is like this and those are the cubic meter that you can get out of this system so if I come here we can see if I come here I can see where the curve starts going the other way we are doing 0 0.9 cubic meters at 38 meter head so depending on your requirements then you could operate it the way you want but you can see what we are showing here is that already we have we have uh, pumps that you can use for our system uh, this is the the specification of this particular pump and you can see the various uh, the rated flow is there this particular pump is rated at one cubic meter at 55 meter head it has 14 stages of uh, uh, pumping and it can give us up to 15 15 bars of operating pressure so we have seen now our setup how it has helped us uh, operate these uh, pumps in a cheaper way compared to the otherwise uh, expensive mode without boosting we have been able to see how we can use a relatively cheap uh, boosting converter to help us operate DC and AC pumps which would otherwise require several panels to provide power to them to operate so this is one way how to improve the installation of your PV system for water pumping system so this is the end of the video we shall be doing another video on calculating the power for water pumping systems so bye bye for now and let's meet in the next video please remember to subscribe to this channel